casino boss and his wife were killed? The Bulls question Nikki. Jeez. She fell funny. Music has always been an integral part of Martin Scorsese's filmmaking style. He grew up in Little Italy with his neighbours blasting all these records out of their open windows all day, so he's been soundtracking his entire life from childhood. When it comes to cinematic needle drops, Scorsese is practically unparalleled. No one can pair a movie scene with the perfect song like Scorsese can. There are plenty of great original compositions in his films, like the themes from Taxi Driver and The Irishman, and Cape Fear recycled Bernard Herrmann's original score to brilliant effect. But a true needle drop is when a popular existing record is played during a movie scene. The best ones pair the perfect melody with the on-screen action, and use visuals and storytelling to completely recontextualize the meaning of the song. Scorsese does that better than anyone, so without further ado, here are the very best needle drops from the Scorsese oeuvre. As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a gangster. I know I'd go the rapid pacing and unbridled energy of Goodfellas are introduced right from the opening scene. The movie begins in media res, with Henry, Jimmy, and Tommy driving out into the woods to dispose of Billy Batts' corpse, only to find that he's not quite dead yet. As Jimmy and Tommy finish him off and Henry looks on, deeply disturbed, his voiceover narration says, As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a gangster. Then, after Henry's iconic opening line, Rags to Riches by Tony Bennett, may he rest in peace, bursts onto the soundtrack as the camera swoops in for a close-up. This sweeping song comparing romantic love to material fortune plays ironically as we're introduced to one of the many horrible crimes that Henry had to commit to get from Rags to Riches. The opening of The Irishman, Scorsese's more sobering and contemplative exploration of Mafia life, is the polar opposite of the frenetic Goodfellas opening, and the song use reflects that. In The Still of the Night by The Five Satins instantly establishes the slower pace and more somber mood of the movie. It introduces the historical setting and the loneliness and mundanity of Frank Sheeran's elderly days in a nursing home. When Johnny Boy bursts into the bar with two women on his arm in Mean Streets, the Rolling Stones' Jumpin' Jack Flash highlights his brash, outgoing personality. He announces himself as he enters a room. Johnny Boy's confident, Jack Flash, shit-eating grin is hilariously contrasted with Harvey Keitel's stern expression as Charlie watching him come over. When he looks at Johnny Boy, all Charlie can see is the many problems he has to deal with and the many messes he has to clean up due to his friend's reckless behavior. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right, I'll see you later. Thanks. What are you doing? You're leaving your car? Watch, what? it's a car for me. It's easier than leaving it out of the garage and waiting. It's a lot quicker that way. You know what I mean? Huh? During the iconic Copacabana scene in Goodfellas, Scorsese's use of Then He Kissed Me by The Crystals, a song about a woman being swept off her feet by the man of her dreams, highlights Karen being swept off her feet by Henry, but it also shows Karen being seduced into a dark lifestyle and whisked away into a world of glamour funded by blood money, as she sees all the perks and respect that Henry gets just because he's in the Mafia, and she thinks, you know what, I could get used to this. In 
the opening credits of The King of Comedy, Come Rain or Come Shine by Ray Charles symbolizes the futility of the pursuit of fame that the movie focuses on. The song is paired perfectly with the image of a non-celebrity peering into the exclusive and seemingly glamorous world of celebrity, illuminated by the paparazzi's flashing cameras. Being a celebrity might look fun, but it's actually quite exhausting and isolating, and Charles's sad song expresses that. Come rain, come shine. The Celtic punk gem I'm shipping up to Boston by the Dropkick Murphys punctuates a thrilling opening act in The Departed. It ties into the Boston setting, a rare departure from Scorsese's usual New York set stories, but it also establishes the film's fast pace and rough, gritty tone right off the bat. This list is very Goodfellas heavy, so I'll quickly rattle through three more Goodfellas entries in a row. Didn't I tell you not to get anything please? Didn't I tell you not to attract attention? In two days, one guy gets a fucking cat, the other one gets a $20,000 mink. Bring it back. All right, all right. I'll bring it back. Bring it back. I don't care what you do with it. Bring it where you got it before. Get it out of here. I don't care. You understand? Right. Get it out of here. All right. Let's go. All right. I'll admit that I'm biased towards this one because it's my favorite Christmas song, but Darlene Love's Christmas Baby Please Come Home is used perfectly in Goodfellas. Not only does it set the appropriate tone for the mobster's holiday celebrations, it shrewdly compares the spoils of the Lufthansa heist to a bunch of presents on Christmas morning. The sunshine of your love moment in Goodfellas looks cool as fuck, with De Niro smoking a cigarette punctuated by the psychedelic sounds of Cream. The opening electric guitar riff pierces through Maury's terrible rendition of Danny Boy, and acts as a musical version of a light bulb going off in Jimmy's head, as he realizes he can bump off everyone else involved in the heist and keep the score for himself. This is all conveyed masterfully by the glint in De Niro's eyes as the camera pushes in closer and closer. In the mind-blowing climactic sequence of Goodfellas, Scorsese rotates through a few different songs as Henry grows paranoid that he's being followed by a helicopter. Each new song abruptly cuts off the last. It kicks off with the thumping beat of Harry Nielsen's Jump Into The Fire, then flits between Memo From Turner by Mick Jagger, a live recording of The Who's Magic Bus, Monkey Man by The Stones, and What Is Life by George Harrison, before closing out the sequence with Manish Boy by Muddy Waters. This thing's been following me around all fucking morning, I'm telling ya. The ever-changing soundtrack contributes to Scorsese's cinematic portrayal of Henry's frazzled, coke-addled mindset, along with rapid camera movements, frantic editing, and a spot-on performance by the late, great Ray Liotta. Your Honor, as you can see, my clients are elderly and infirm. Any incarceration could pose a serious health risk. When the bosses were arrested, some of them were so old they needed doctors at their arraignment. The montage of the fall of Sam Rothstein's criminal empire in Casino is underscored by the animal's rendition of House of the Rising Sun. Scorsese's use of this heartbreaking classic compares Sam's Casino to a brothel, a moral cesspool where people's lives get destroyed. The melancholic melody pairs perfectly with the tragedies on screen. In 
both good fellas and the Wolf of Wall Street, Scorsese uses ironic punk rock covers of classic songs from the 60s to signal the arrival of the long arm of the law. The Sid Vicious version of My Way plays when Henry is confined to suburbia as a federal witness, while the Lemonheads version of Mrs. Robinson plays when FBI agents raid the offices of Stratton Oakmont. Scorsese subversively uses the rebellious, anti-establishment sound of punk rock to represent the hammer of justice coming down on his criminal anti-heroes. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you liked the video. Remember to like and subscribe and click on the little bell. And also seize the day and call your mom and be kind to yourself. Yeah.